you knew certain areas, mm-hmm. so that knowledge gave you confidence there. Yeah. And through that, that confidence, now you had to have a value system to live by, to stick by, your culture. Yeah. And you wouldn't break it. I so you look for ways it. to Work figure it out. out. And then that's where the referral came in. Um, have you, is that something you really had to work on? Or has that been who you always have been in your life? Like being able to, to discipline yourself. I can speak for it. I was never that person. And then <laughs> <laughs> every de- culture matters. It's just me trying to work it out, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's be real. We, before this, I said, <laughs> why do you do the interviews? So I can listen. <laughs> We would have never be cool eight years ago. <laughs> yeah. I would have just talked, even with the cameras. Yeah. It's to Jay show. I thought this yeah, was an yeah. interview. Well, I'd just keep talking. Yeah. So see how easy it gets for me? <laughs> yeah. Namaste, right? <laughs> was that something you worked on or have you been always able to discipline yourself I've in that regard? I've been very good at self-discipline my whole life. So I shared with you earlier before the cameras started rolling, I was a ballerina. I studied ballet as a little girl from age three all the way through high school, you know, up to point. And I was very, so if you know anything about ballet, it's an extremely disciplined sport. I mean, you have to know the steps. It's in a different language. It's in French. All, you know. Well, I didn't know that. It is. Yeah. So each of the positions, everything that you're doing, every move is one in a different language and two. Um, it builds upon itself, right? So you can't do this move before you do this one, right? And you have to be a master at this before you can get, like going on point, for example, you know, when you go to see the ballet, if you see the ballet and fill it out. I never have, but maybe after this. Um, the, the women and men too, who stand on their toes, that's a different shoe than someone who's a early ballerina. And so in order to get to the point, it's called, you have to have mastered all these different. It's almost if like you karate try to do in that a way. First, yeah, you you're going to break you're your ankle be in trouble. because you have to build up the strength and you have to wow. build up the positioning and, and the ability to. And do there's it. only one way to do it. Yeah, to go it's from like the karate. Beginning. Another example would be karate, right? Like you have to start the with the belt white first. belt yeah, and then whatever sense. the next one is. I'm not an expert in karate, but then you eventually become a black belt. It's the same with being a ballerina. You have to take each individual step. So in order to master each step. You have to create discipline to practice. You have to be willing to take risks, right? All of these things. And so I think that discipline that I learned without even, I don't think my parents, when they put me in ballet lessons when I was three years old, ever thought it was going to make any kind of difference. But I always think if I ever have a daughter, I'd love to see her get into ballet if that's something she's interested in because it does teach you so many skills. So I've always been able to have self-discipline, which I think is what has helped me throughout my career. 